I'm Mariana Hewitt from Maximo TV. We're at Spike TV's Video Game Awards. We're going to talk to the nominees tonight and see what their favorite video games are. So make sure to check them out up next. started with video games? Um, you know, my dad uh, moved around a lot. Uh, he was in the military, and um, when I was very, very young, like six or seven, I would be playing text-based adventures or little tiny graphic adventures um, because that was really kind of what I did with my spare time. We'd move around. We didn't have friends. And then I kind of expanded that to like BBSs and like uh, CompuServe. Like, this is when I was like, you know, five and six. And then I moved to the internet when I, uh, when I was in high school. So, um, yeah, it's always been a love of mine and then something that I feel very organic to who I am. Do you find yourself playing more with guys? or do you have a lot of girlfriends that want to play video games too? Yeah, I mean, I think there are more women gamers than people give credit to, and uh, I don't think women gamers are portrayed in necessarily authentic way. You know, they're kind of a guy's dream of what a girl would be. It's like a, a model with in a bikini with her controller in her hand. So I think there are a lot of women, all sorts of women, uh, who game, and I, uh, I play with guys and girls, you know. Uh, most of my friends do happen to be gamers, so. Um, so what's your favorite game to play? Um, I love uh, role-playing games. Those are really my favorite, or like adventure games. I love games with really good story. So um, those tend to be the ones I love the most. Like World of Warcraft has great lore, and uh, Bioware games, and Fable, you know, things with really good story and character. Um, do you know of any new games coming out in 2011 that you're looking forward to? Yeah, Dragon Age 2 is coming out in March, and I'm really, really, I'm a huge fan of, of that and, and the sequel Origins, so I play both of those obsessively. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and cross fingers for a new Mass Effect, maybe? That would be really fun. And Uncharted 3, because that was like living a movie, and I, I think it's beautiful. It was a beautiful game. I play Commander Shepard in Mass Effect 2, 1 and 2. I've done a bunch of other games as well, Knights of the Old Republic, um, Metal Gear Solid, 1, 2, and 4, um, Brutal Legends, a uh, bunch of stuff. Um, Allie Hillis, and uh, I get to play Dr. Liara Tassoni in Mass Effect 2, so I get to make out with this one right here. But we're not doing it for nominated for Best Voice in a Game. Thank you very much. Um, also, tonight, uh, very happy that uh, Final Fantasy 13 was nominated. I play Lightning and also StarCraft 2. I'm Ariel Hansen, so real excited for all the nominations. Big night. Why exactly did the two of you guys make out in this new game? <laughs> the writers. Yes, I don't know why they have two girls making out. So boys, what you been doing back there? <laughs> <laughs> I think it sells games. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's really cool in Mass Effect 2. I'm sure a lot of people know this, but the player can be male or female. Yeah. And so I happen to play a character that is a love interest for the player. So, uh, hey. Yep. Sometimes. I go both ways. How involved are you in the development of the Tony Hawk game? Oh, uh, very much so. I, I play it every step of the way and give suggestions for riders, tricks, locations, challenges, and uh, I, I have to. It's got my name on it. I gotta, I gotta be really involved. So you guys have been with Activision for a long time. You've got a bunch of games out. Um, what can we look forward to in the future of Tony Hawk game? 
Um, I think that you know we, we started something with our with our board, I, I, the the peripheral that you stand on that picks up all your motions. I think that uh, utilizing that with the new uh, other motion sensing technology, um, I'd love to do stuff like that where you're more immersed in the experience as opposed to just sitting and hit, pushing buttons. And what are some of your favorite games to play? Um, I like playing all the Lego series with my kids because that's something we really share and uh, Black Ops. Right now, I'm trying to master Dance Central. Oh, how's that go? I've never played it. It's not going so well because I have no rhythm. Uh, <laughs> you get better with the game. Well, I'm hoping, yeah. I mean, they do teach you some moves so you can get in there and kind of, yeah. But I, yeah, I, I have no rhythm. Tell me about Jumpstart Live. Oh, it's going to be the most fun ever. Okay, so it's on VH1. It starts January 3rd. It's going to be a live morning talk show. We're going to have a bunch of celebrities in studio. We're shooting it at the VH1 building right there in Times Square. Um, and uh, we're going to be talking about the new music that comes out every week, the new movies that are coming out. And it all leads up to the Critics' Choice Awards on January 14th. Are you guys actually going to play so music exciting. videos? I know. There's yeah, there's going to be a few music videos. Yeah, and hopefully there's going to be a few music videos that are not normally in their playlist because I like to watch the old stuff. Well, I was born in the right generation. My first video game was a telepong. I had the first telepong in my in my block, and I've uh, grown with everything Atari, with every system, every system I've had, and uh, you know I think that I've seen them and lived with them the evolution from it being just uh, mechanical reflex games into being storytelling engines. And right now what we have is a new frontier, a new frontier for narrative that I embrace because I think that it's uh, it contains within it the future. What are some of your favorite games to play? Well, I, I, I am a boy, so I'm a shooter. I love I love shooting, and I'm pretty good. I'm a Mexican, and I'm a boy. I'm pretty good at shooting things. So I like uh, you know a, any of the Call of Duties. I love uh, Left 4 Dead. I love uh, uh, you know all all the stuff that is grabbing something and breaking it like any good boy. You know we we've had a we, uh, but but I love uh, more than anything the atmospheres. The creation of atmospheres. I think it's it's important that uh, that you create uh, immersive atmospheres. And what do you think we can look forward to in gaming? What do you think will change over the next few years? Well, I think that uh, what I've seen. I tell you, I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna do a shameless plug, but I really want to play Homefront, uh, the game they are developing. Very much. A very big gamer. Very big gamer. What are some of your favorite games? Um, Resident Evil was one of my favorite games, like the original, you know, uh, I mean, I've been playing video games since a kid, like, you know, the original Top Gun on Nintendo and, and Duck Hunt and Super Mario and Zelda and all that kind of stuff. You know, there's a girl over here with Triforce earrings. I was like, what is that? I'm a big dork. I'm a big dork. Um, but I play a lot of stuff. So what's better, Xbox, PlayStation? I like Xbox 360. I mean, like, I love it. They have the Connect stuff now. Nowadays, which is going to be sort of a wave of the future, I think. Uh, um, but I, you know, I'm, I, I mean, I have a, I have a PlayStation 3. I don't play it as much as my Xbox 360. I love my Xbox 360 better. Why do you think guys like to play video games all day long? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> because we can control things and we're competitive, and that's how guys are. So if we have something that we can control and own, uh, that don't scream at us <laughs> and make us sleep on the couch, then. Fine. Can you guys tell me a little bit about Deadliest Warrior? Uh, come on, you've been wearing for a Well, long time. it was uh, the concept was developed by a man named Gary Tarpinian at Morningstar Entertainment. He pitched it to History Discovery, and uh, they didn't bite, so he said, "Let's go to Spike." Bite, and uh, Spike had the balls to bite, and I love the fact that they're doing this. This is crazy. Thank you, Deadliest Warrior fans. Basically, what we do is you take warriors throughout that actually existed throughout history, but never met on the battlefield until our show. Listen, it's it's actually a really cool format. You take two characters, you make conflict, and then you have a resolution at the end of the day. It's a great story arc. It's a great format. It's it, the only place you could do something like this is on Spike. What are some of your favorite games to play? Well, I like old school games. You know, Super Mario Brothers. Centipede, what? But no, I like Black Ops, I like the modern... Hey, not bad. <laughs> I'm all about the, the latest Call of Duty, so I'm all Black Ops right now. Anything in the Call of Duty franchise, anything coming out of Bioware, heck, don't forget Left 4 Dead 2. Great games, phenomenal games. That's it for us, now let's go play some games.